happened to uh, put in the DNA for uh, the uh, pig. Okay, so that's how we get the pigs with uh, glowing noses. Okay. Now, I understand that that was a lot of information. Um, there's a video at this link right here for YouTube uh, where you can go um, drop this link in and then you can uh, check out how uh, you can actually see like a little animation of how DNA replication works. And if you don't like this one, um, there's tons of them online. You just got to go to YouTube, uh, YouTube DNA replication and a whole ton of videos will pop up. Um, try to stick to ones that are like around like five to eight minutes long. Those ones are um, going to give you kind of like the broad idea without diving too deep into the molecular portions of it, okay? So I would say try to stick with uh, those ones. I mean, if you get into like a 30-minute video, um, don't bother. It's, it's just going to be a whole lot of uh, complicated um, uh, biochemistry for you guys, okay? So the next thing that we're going to talk about is mutation, all right? So mutation is just basically a change in DNA. That's all it is. And we have DNA strands here, all right? Um, if you notice, there's three bases here, T, C, and T, okay? And that makes up uh, serine, okay? C, A, T, okay? C, A, T, the cat right there, makes up histidine. G, A, T, makes aspartate. CCT makes proline, all right? And so uh, we would go through a DNA replication cycle um, like we just showed back here, all right? And in that DNA replication cycle, what's gonna happen is we're going to just get one little change right here, okay? Um, if you look up here, we had GGA, okay? Here we got TGA. All right, so that changed from uh, proline to threonine, okay? So this is a base substitution, okay? Does happen with uh, just about every generation in, uh, in uh, humans, okay? We all have DNAs most of the time, like about nine out of 10 times, okay? The mutation is um, just uh, what they call a, uh, um, neutral, right? So it doesn't really actually have any positive or negative effect, okay? Um, between neutral or uh, deleterious uh, mutations, which means mutations that are actually not good for you, um, that takes up like about 99 out of 100 mutations, okay? So it's very rare that you actually get a mutation that uh, is helpful to you, okay? Um, and so, uh, this is why most of the time species tend to look very similar to one another, maybe some slight change, but for the most part, they look very similar to one another. Um, dramatic mutations are very rarely on the positive end. Um, most of the time they're neutral or deleterious. Okay. Um, so, uh, base substitution here. Red in the DNA changes from G to T in the DNA strand, and as a result, uh, proline goes to threonine in the protein, right? So this is how the protein would normally look here, okay, normal protein, and then this is mutated protein. As you can see, the structure of the protein is different, so are we going to get the same output from the protein? The answer would be no, right? because we've now changed that structure. So because we've changed the structure, that protein is gonna act completely different than what it did before, okay? Um, there are three kinds of point mutations, which is where we're changing at one point on the DNA, okay? Hence why we use the term point mutation, okay? So silent mutation is a single base substitution in the third base nucleotide position of a codon, okay? So third would be this one right here, right? You read from left to right, one, two, three, okay? So um, this results in no change in the amino acid, okay? So this would still be uh, serine, 
Okay, and uh, note that the first two letters of the genetic code are the most critical. Okay, so you can actually have a slight change um, and not actually change the result of the uh, of the amino acid. Okay, or um, so that the protein still. is what we call a mistranslation mutation. Okay? So that's a single base substitution in the first or second nucleotide position. Right? So if you're looking at these three, it would have to be this one right here or this one right here. Okay? And then that's actually going to um, change the amino acid. Alright. So we're going to get a, a mutated protein now. Because we've actually changed the amino acid again right now. Okay. A non transmutation is a single base substitution that yields a stop codon. Okay. Um, there are three non trans codons in the genetic code. Okay. And basically, what that means is you will not make this protein at all. Okay. So imagine if we change a base here. Okay. Now what we did is we changed it to equal what we call a stop codon, which means that DNA replication.